Social media is completely overrated and it does not work. I'm gonna show you exactly why. All right, so I was just kidding, but it worked, right? It grabbed your attention. And that's what social media and marketing is all about grabbing attention and holding attention. And with social media, it's about stopping the scroll. You literally have seconds, if not less, to get somebody to stop that scroll and listen to your message. Otherwise you lose them and they're never gonna give it a second thought again. By just learning how to present my information a little differently and how to grab attention a little bit quicker, I've been able to grow my Instagram from around 2,000 to over 40,000 followers and my TikTok to over 70 something thousand followers in around eight months. And they're both at loans by JB in case you wanted to know or in case you wanted to like or follow. But what this has also done is I'll get anywhere from five to 10 and I've had weeks where I've gotten 20 to 30 leads in a week from these platforms. Depends on the content, depends how good it is and the attention I'm grabbing, but it works. So my goal for you today is that you leave here with some tools to help you start maximizing this channel of business. It's truly unlimited what you could do and how much you could grow your business through social media. But make sure you watch till the end and I'm gonna give you one of my best post ideas that's guaranteed to help you kick things off the right way. So let's get into it. Here are the main ways you wanna start every single video or marketing piece you have to grab attention. You wanna start with a bold statement. You wanna use curiosity. You wanna use a conflicting statement. You wanna use a big statement that's against the grain of what most people believe. You wanna use a shocking statement. You wanna use pain. You wanna use a reward. So to help you guys out, I put together these slides that are gonna be popped up next and there's gonna be a handout you could download or get it somehow through this video that's gonna break all this down for you. You can thank me later when you check it out. So let's jump into that. So I've given you guys some tools and some templates to start framing your messages a little bit differently to start grabbing attention a little better. And I promised you a great post idea. So with this post, what I'm doing here is I'm showing people a clear picture of the difference between renting, investing, and owning real estate. Real estate is the number one way to create wealth in this country. And I'd like to put that picture together as clearly as possible. The clearer you can paint a picture, the better people are able to grasp the numbers and the information you're trying to give them on why real estate is so powerful, the better conversions you're gonna have. So I get all these messages on DM and DMs, I get these leads and all that stuff. The number one tool I have to convert, the number one tool I have to present has always been Mortgage Coach. Mortgage Coach is a great way to break down numbers. It lets you do savings and investing comparisons and what happens with real estate, your net worth in 30 years and 15 years. It's a phenomenal tool. So check out this reel that I did. You'll see me pop Mortgage Coach in there and how I use it, but it's even more powerful when I have those consultations with the clients. When those leads come through and I schedule time with them and we do the pre-approval consultations, we're really educating them with this stuff. It goes so much further and my conversions have gone through the roof. So make sure you give me a follow on Instagram. Check it out on TikTok. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a DM on social media. Anyways, I hope you like the information. Check it out and I'll see you soon how to build wealth saving and investing and with real estate. Check it out. If you were to invest $1,000 a month into a total stock market index fund for 15 years and an average rate of return of 10%, you'd end up with 385,000. So in my market, let's say you could rent a home for around 2,500 a month. And if you were to buy a home for around 600,000 with the minimum down payment, your payment's gonna be around 3,500 a month. So $1,000 more a month. Instead of saving and investing that $1,000 more a month, you now own real estate. Let's see what it does. If you were to keep renting, you could expect to pay about $518,000 during those 15 years with no return. And if you were putting that thousand bucks a month away, like I said, you'd still end up with about $380,000 in investments. But owning real estate, you'll have about $726,000.